I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm uh, a bit tired, to be honest. I, mean, I think I think a lot of people right now will be kind of feeling the effects of burnout uh, in the sense that, you know, it's been a hell of a long uh, winter plus spring. I mean, the split in general for me was not that easy to handle. Um, I think we haven't been the best team. We had a lot of struggles, lots of conflicts, and I think we tackled them very slowly, uh, which led us into being like 8th place and like fighting for the last spot of playoffs. My, my felt very bad because we are, in, I think we are not team and maybe we need to talk more in this game. Alright, so uh, yesterday didn't happen, today's our first match against uh, in the LEC. Welcome, welcome to... 2023. Today is super frustrating and more than losing, what's frustrating is that we are just not playing at our best, or at least we didn't play very well today. Didn't we traded yeah. Chase's life for that. Then like here, if you, st if you stay top, he's taking the, the tower solo. Sion is such a good... No, 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 no. no you're not faster. Same wave. Same wave. And Sion, Sion can, and Sion can base TP anyway. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna argue right now. Yeah, so yeah. I don't we can rewatch it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should tell me like what you feel we should be doing rather than yeah. stop or uh, play slower. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. getting so far, but what do I do? I mean, I just didn't know what to do. I know, I know, I know. But, I mean, it's also my bad. I should not do it, but... Oh, it's just a shitty situation. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm scared for my life in these situations, bro. Like, we fucked it up so many times. When it's yeah, yeah, but I mean, I need to think. So I think we had a lot of issues already last split, and I think it kind of transferred into this split. We kind of overperformed last split when we finished second, and the issues weren't solved. We had a lot of like unsolved issues within the team in terms of how we wanted to play the game together like on an in-game level, but also on a personal level. I would say like we had some obstacles, like not really being on the right page, draft, figure out like what, how we wanted to draft, the structure and everything. Obviously it's been pretty, pretty underwhelming from a like purely results focused perspective. And you know, all of us have been pretty dissatisfied with the way that a lot of the regular season matches went. I think I've been dissatisfied with my own performance in terms of a lot of the drafts we had, all of the meta reads we had, like a lot of things have been have been off for us. Ah, I should have banned Olaf. My bad. My bad. My bad this one, my bad, my bad, my bad. I think the team performance has been really low. I think we've played really bad. Pretty much every single game, even the games we we won. So yeah, I'm not too happy about the team performance. I think it's it's obviously not been good. I forget that things have been good in the past as well, so it's very hard for me to find the, the line between being like a good teammate and being like just more professional and just doing your things the right way. And yeah, it's, it's very hard to find the balance in between, for me at least. I think especially when things aren't going so well, it's easy to be individuals, to be separate, to fracture and, and, and have different objectives, different priorities and it's getting everybody on the same page and unified and working towards the same goals that I think is the spark that's been missing. Uh, In-game communication I think is fine but we think uh, different. Someone wanted to do this or uh, someone do this like this. It's different. So very hard I think. Uh, I think the, the biggest thing like that's kind of most all-encompassing, it's a bit vague, but is getting on the same page about things, getting on the same page about the way we want to draft, the way we want to play out our matchups, the way we want to play out our early games, the way we want to play out our mid-games, like what we really value in-game, making sure that we see the game the same way. So a lot of the work we've done in the last couple of weeks has been addressing our differing views on late game fundamentals. When we're grouping, we need to get vision on one side and mm -hmm. we also need to like check bushes for pink quads. Yeah. This, mm -hmm. this pink quad I wanted to check, but I can't put the deep vision and check like every bush, you know? Yeah, keep being on the same page. If you're doing fast rotations, if you're hovering well, you will 
I'll, like, I'll play this team in mid game so much. Like, you need to see where I am or I need to see where you are and we need to sync. We tend to play like a bit too fast and this team is not bad when yeah. it comes to like mechanics and stuff and we get outplayed there. Mm -hmm. I think we should think a bit a bit too much, like twice. So just like give it an extra thought that if you don't do anything, what is their play? Don't lose yeah, confidence yeah, yeah, yeah. because I have a bad game. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. We can push and mid and bot. Yeah. I think we were just too early on the objective there. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. That's fine, we got it, we got it. I can play. They cannot dive. No. So I, I think first gank, if I gank a bit better, I think he died. Because I show too much. I do this instead of like going river. In these moments, you just need to be a team and you just need to come together because we are much better players of what we showed and it's been pretty sad, yeah. We need to be kind to each other. We need to remember to love each other. We need to remember that we want to play League of Legends together. And as long as we do that through like making sure that we have fun in practice, making sure that everyone feels listened to, that everyone feels trusted, making sure that we are a tight-knit group, is, is how we keep improving and we give a good showing for the rest of spring, but especially moving into summer that we, we start strong and we finish stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go Vitality! I, I, Change ball! Please! Please come ball! <laughs> so it's really simple to keep improving. We just need to not kill each other or hate each other. We just have fun playing together and like enjoy the game. And I think that's, that's literally it. I think with this team especially, when they're not having fun, they don't perform well. And so we had to bring a lot more fun back in. A lot more smiles, a lot more happiness. And when we've got that environment in practice, I don't think there's anyone in this league that can beat us. best part I mean for me it's the the relationships that you build like when you when you've really been through the shit with people like when you've suffered together when you've like hit your lowest point when you've bounced back from having low confidence when you've ridden the the absolute roller coaster that is competing in anything you know the highs and the lows of winning and losing which are super addictive in and of themselves the like the bonds that you make between people and the degree to which you actually know each other, you know, like you know what each other is like at your best, at, at your worst, very, worst, when they're burnt out, when they're sick, when they're like everything, you know, we, we see all of the sides of the people that we work with. And I think that leads to a really, really close bond. Most of the time. One lockdown and Kazi is getting excited. Kazi's by himself, he doesn't even get a chance to call in the band. Bot lane inhibitor, 
the sang flash hook. Lands it on Broken Blade. The flame jumpers come down as well, and Broken Blade is popped where he stands. Hit Mickey, taken out as well. The glacial prism not even needed. Three items on Kazi. Good. Hit the sang dashing forward. Death from below. They're not low enough yet. But in the end, Hunt Summer will fall. And Mad Lions are way too healthy and way too hungry for the win. They're pushing in. They have the Ezreal for the attack speed for the Ws. Niski's going to try and zone away Yike. Karsi dashes forwards here. There's a cataclysm, but Yike has fallen trying to... It's die. over. The minions going in. They've done it. Mad Lions hurt you. And they raise a massive middle finger to the doubters. They want to claim the MSI spot for themselves. I think like the, the most thing I think we noticed this week was obviously like instead of us practicing more, maybe not more effectively, but just like more, actually was probably the wrong approach. We actually, instead of playing more, we played less and did some team bonding. So I think like instead of like only working inside the game, try to get better, try to get along in, in this way, I don't think is that that was the helpful for us. It's very easy to go into this evil cycle of, oh, we are losing, I need to spend more time watching League of Legends, where you end up on having like 16 hour work days. And, and that, in, in my experience, has the opposite effect. So usually when I feel burnout starting to creep in, when I start feeling really, really stressed, I do the opposite. I try to disconnect from the game. I try to remove my tunnel vision on the game. I make sure that I get some breathing room from League of Legends that helps me reset my mindset so that when I do re-enter my workspace, I have a clear mind and I can actually go at it with a positive and opportunistic mindset rather than a holy fuck, why are we losing? For me, it's very important to socialize. If I wouldn't socialize, I would I would be way too bored because I would play all the time and when I play too much it's not good for me. Being focused on the game in like a healthy way, it's different for everyone. So for me I need like 70% of leak and like 30% of some other distraction that's not way too bad for me. How I deal with the struggle often is either by trying to play more but not in a way that it gets unhealthy and I play until like 3 a.m. and I screw my sleeping schedule or something or I don't eat which has happened but I try to uh, avoid this since I know that this is not uh, beneficial for me not every game matters in a way like if you play at 2 a.m. solo queue and everyone is just like playing just because they don't want to go to sleep it's not productive if you are like um, just try having um, just like you do in scrims for example when it gets really stressful I try to disconnect as much as I can from the game I'm from just the environment I'm in because when you are in the same environment for like three months and things are not going great, it's hard to, to not fall in this black hole. So uh, I try to disconnect a bit and just talk with some friends, talk with other people that are, are not here in Berlin or are not League of Legends player. And that helps me quite a lot to see it with the other pers perspective. Mm, I, I watch a uh, YouTuber and, uh, and I want, I like listen to music. I think music I like so much. If when I listening music, I'm feeling very, very, very better. In many esports teams, still there isn't the culture and environment which is safe to talk about mental health, to share the fact that you're struggling or having struggles. Um, so I think with time it will evolve, and as the understanding of the value of this stuff, I don't know that all esports players value this stuff yet or think that it has any value and there's definitely this sort of mentality of more hours playing the game equals better results but there's a point of diminishing returns where you play more and actually your performance is going to start to decrease we do I mean, I can ask. interview together no 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 we are doing i i'm not doing shut up i can't i don't care I will, I will I, translator, I, translator. I can't speak don't worry, English. I'm, tra I'm translator. Uh, I, don't worry. I speak Korean. Yeah, I'm translator. Oh. I also speak Korean. Okay, okay. Yeah. Arso? Arso, yeah. Oh, Arso. I will ask you. Arso. I will okay, ask you. Okay. Okay. It's actually a fun idea. But higher, yeah. I think, I mean, he has to start in giving interviews. Yes, exactly. Yeah? So, I like, guess you have to be the translator. More and more. Yes, I will be the translator for his first interview. So, so fucking bad. It's disgusting. I'm going to read that after this bit. Yeah, I think you should. Do you think you're something? Big something? Yeah. They think Jack? Bane. Bane. <laughs> they think that? Bane. Bane. <laughs> we start in mount. Yeah. What the fuck? He's going for the AZ. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a submission? Hey. Nice. Feeling good? Yeah. No? Yep. Know what you want to say? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, sexy bike wise. 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 Oh, sexy b
it to MSI like those things matter to me incredibly but in a way they're secondary to the way in which we win or lose to me you know like we've we've been through a lot of struggles this split and there were points at which the team was like you know feeling really low and we had definitely lost some of the trust between each other we'd stopped having as much fun playing together uh, and that's something that I think has made us much better as a team and I think in the last couple of weeks we've managed to recapture that a little bit. I think the players are feeling good about going into the matches. I'm feeling good about going into the matches. I feel like we've got our, our spark back. Um, and we're smiling and having fun together and laughing and learning together in practice. And when that happens, I'm really happy. I think no matter what happens, um, I would like us to enjoy our time together because this is how we win games and the opposite is how we lose the game. So as long as we're having fun and enjoying the time spending together in the game. We might not play all together for much longer, so you can also just enjoy it no matter the results. The worst case is losing. So yeah, just enjoy it, you know. But overall it's just, I think if they are not enjoying the moment on stage and they're not enjoying playing the games, it's just going to be less fun, you know? Like, you can win, and if you don't have a good mood within the team, it's going to feel bad. But if you win when you have a good mood, it feels good. If you lose with a good mood, it feels good. And if you lose with a bad mood, it really sucks, you know? So, yeah, just try to enjoy the moment and play good. Otherwise, like, we suck, you know? <laughs> and that would, be, that would be sad. No, I'm not so good at speeches like this, but, for example, if I had this approach with... I think when we have Sedge, Jace, and they already have Zaya, I don't like it so much because it's not like you have Zaya Samuels into Zaya. Yeah, I don't. I think Sedge, Champool is the best But the Sedge, Sedge, Sedge Jace is really, really strong. Yeah, yeah, on top, but it's mid-lane Champool. Yeah, yeah. You guys are red side, but... Guys are... Yes, are just being slowly pushed back. They desperately just want to find behind, but they won't get the option. Karzy going golden. It's clean, but now the follow-up immediately. The hustle take over. The all thing. Karzy down. Shut down. It's everything. And BDS again. Finding the fight. It's gear with the whole fight. One. They need to reset. They're going to get it. Renata. 
number one, uh, you guys are playing super, super, super patiently. Comms are way more calm. They're literally like not playing the game when they're behind. Number yeah. two, push mid. Wait for them to have to base because they have to catch mid and then like start the Nash or whatever it is, right? Gonna look for it. He's just gonna leap out to safety. He's going to do so. And now instantly that is time to pull the trigger. Crowny going golden, but the charm is it gonna be perfect. The charm missing. The charm will it be enough. Crowny on the backside, uncontested for now. Oh, yeah, hitting the Q. Chasey trying to find an angle to the backside, but Crowny again, untouched for now, but it is not enough. Q3 will connect oh, the RZ. Will connect. Carzy looking for a backside. Looking for an opportunity. There's blue for more than one king in the LEC. Because it's Carzy who wants a crown. Carzy gets a penta kill as well. They will get five. No, they will go. They will go. Into Vaka, Zer and Lulu, and then we can penta kill for five. We five first. Into Vaka. in front, you will always isolate him and you will always kill him. So if we do that, the next two games, this series is over, okay? Yeah. yeah. Go already to kick things off. Karzy with an ult, hitting two instantly. The fight turns, the needle work coming out. It is disaster for BDS on the bottom side as Adam will find himself torn to pieces. Coming down. Looks like he's gonna get called out here though. Nice dash back coming through. Adam can make it out safe. He doesn't have all out. He's unstoppable now. Just continuing to try to trade, but no one is coming. No one is coming to help Adam all on his long. So taken out on the top side. And meanwhile, on the bottom, it's Hillisang, who's been caught out by BDSD. Does he have the shield? Burning. He does have the shield, and just in time, looking for the end here. Yeah, breaking the tower. BDSD hey, going to pick the fight off, trying to get things done. Hey, no, no, that's him, that's him. Gwen is a mute. Gwen is a mute. Don't give Jinx, don't give Jinx. Care for Jinx. Jinx flashed in. Oh, flashed out. I'm zoning two on the boat. Guys, no go in. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Push. Guys, 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 we fucking got him. Guys, the guys, look here. Oh, So, first question, and like the most important one, this whole interview is how are you? How am I? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm still not quite awake, <laughs> but um, it still sinks in that we just won LEC, and slowly I started to realize that more and more. I felt like when we won, I didn't really feel it that much, but I felt like in the next morning it was it was better, so yeah. It's very nice um, feeling that you have won that you have won everything like in your region so far, so um, that you're the best team as well, so it feels like very good. Well, we won the split, so I'm doing great. We had a good party, I'm, I'm happy right now. I'm obviously doing better right now after we won. So I would say right now I'm pretty good, yeah.
I'm good. <laughs> uh, I won the AEC. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. We just won, which feels very nice. I think no one expected us to win. Peter once told me, if you believe people when they tell you you're the best, you will also believe them when they tell you you're the worst. <laughs> so I think just number one, like don't listen to what the outside world says. Um, I think ultimately it's important that you control the, the story that you decide to tell yourselves inside the team about who you are and how you do things and then stick to that, you know. People will always find reasons to hate on whoever it is, so I don't think too much about it, I don't care. I will just keep performing and if we are lucky enough, <laughs> we'll keep on winning. I mean, I got kind of used to it because I was always really hated. So at some point, like, it's whatever, you know, I, I, <laughs> I don't care anymore. You should not care what people think because at the end they don't really necessarily matter. Um, like everyone has their life, everyone has their things to do. So if you just enjoy what you're doing and you know that you can win or like you know that you play like shit, like you don't need people to tell you. Um, that's kind of how I see it. And for me, social media is a thing that you need to take with a grain of salt, I think is how you say it. Or like sometimes it's fine to look at it, but usually it's kind of useless. I don't know, people say that I'm old and I'm like some 28 and there's not many people that are that old in the LEC. People are retired, maybe even like earlier. But I don't feel like I'm close to my end, you know. I feel strong, I feel empowered and motivated still. I'm having fun as well and I feel like I can teach uh, my players or like my team rather so much about what I've experienced and it feels like they're also open to to me teaching them as well so it, it feels amazing and I'm nowhere near to them so I'm just looking forward and playing as much as I can and uh, as much as I'm useful and the fact that I won it really means a lot to me that I can keep going. For now I have in mind MSI and that's all I have in mind. The fact that I can play against the best players in the world, the best teams, the fact that I will have practice against these kind of teams just makes me really excited to play against them. I'm so proud that uh, because I final MVP, I, I get the final MVP and I won the ADC. So Ah, no, no, no. I need food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, take your time. Okay, okay, sorry. No, 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 no. It's no worries whatsoever. You take whatever you need. I think one thing to note is it can be really lonely at the top. The, the higher up the mountain you climb, the less people there is that can relate to your environment, your situation.